you are all okay and that you've had a really good week. So this week what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into your person's thoughts about you at this moment in time. Now those of you that have private readings with me, you'll know that when I go into a private reading, we always start off by going into their thoughts and feelings about you first. Because it gives me and my guides a really good indicator of where the energy's at, where the energy's heading and what's kind of currently going on. But today we're going to just go into their thoughts about you. So we're going into their inner little minds work out what's going on okay so this is deck number one and this is deck number two we're using the kind of more blue decks as there needs to be a kind of open communication between all of you and your people and um, so number one and number two so what I need you to do is if you are pick the deck that you're drawn to okay and then think about your person and as you're thinking about your person can you push your energy into the deck that you are most drawn to so feel that heart energy and feel it kind of pushing forward into the deck that you are are drawn to that's lovely okay so let's get going as psychics are we work in a, there's no such thing as past present and future for us because we can time hop and things like that so if you're watching this video later down the line um it will be timeless because there's no such thing as time for psychics. So whenever you watch it, it's the right time for you and your future energy will already be in the deck. Mind tripping, right? Okay, so think about your person for me. Can we get into the collector's people's energy? Their people, their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, lovely. And let's just do all possibilities, probabilities, chances, chances and changes of you both. Okay, let's get going. So can you tell me, what is their person thinking about them at this moment in time? Okay, so the first thing we're getting in my right ear is we're getting Britney Spears, sometimes I run, sometimes I hide, sometimes I'm scared of you, going back to the 90s with that one. Um, your person often doesn't really know what they're doing about this situation and they can often misguide the information that they give you by saying, you know, they can say one thing and mean something completely different, which is why it's very confusing for you. Hand slip. What are they thinking about their person at this moment in time? I haven't used this deck in, in a while. This deck was uh, my second ever deck that I brought. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What are they thinking about their person at, at the moment? Eight. And one more. So your person tends to say things um, without actually meaning them. They get in the heat of a moment or an argument and it, they can create these kind of fire bombs that they get thrown at you. Um, so your person is kind of in their thought process. They've said things to you or acted in a way which wasn't in their highest good. It wasn't really how they wanted to act, but they didn't know um, how to deal with the situation. So it's possible with a lot of you guys, there's been a conflicting energy, there's been arguments, um, or your person's just kind of distanced themselves and walked away from the situation. And the reason for that is because they really didn't know how to handle the situation. They were feeling a little bit overwhelmed, a bit freaked out. Um, and there was this kind of panic energy going on. So what they've been doing at this moment in time in their thought process over it is they are reflecting on how they handled the situation, realizing that they probably didn't quite say the right things, that they kind of threw these fire bombs at you um, of words, of hurtful sentences, of things that were quite nasty um, towards you and it left you feeling a little bit like, am I being put on the shelf? What are they actually meaning? What's going on? Um, because they left you in this very, very kind of conflicting energy. So that's the first side of things. Now, when they've been going through this kind of process of thinking it all through, they're realizing that there is this very strong connection between the two of you and this love that you guys have with the King and Queen of Cups, this love that you guys have isn't going to be fading. Between this, we have the Two of Cups as well, which is your true love card, all right? So your person's thoughts about you at the moment is that they do love you but they've probably handled the situation with, between you all, the circumstances, in quite a bad way. And there is this element of regret and remorse with that. They're feeling a bit sorry for themselves, licking their wounds a little bit. Um, so if you guys haven't heard of them because they've walked away from the situation, it's because they are licking their wounds. They said stuff or, or acted on stuff that they didn't actually mean. A lot of them have kind of said stuff to push you away as well. The reason for that is because if they push you away, then they don't have to deal with the situation. And they're thinking, right, it's gonna be so simple, I can just cut you out of my life 
and I'll move on, I'll move forward in my life, but it's not that easy, because the love between the two of you is extremely strong. And this card over here of your swan's necks, kind of they're entwining, in the, it is normally a heart, isn't it? But this heart is a little bit mismatched at the moment, that it's not fully connecting, but the love between the two of you is there. A lot of you guys are gonna be more spiritually tapped in, tuned in, and turned on to your person's emotions, um, and you will be picking up on them as well so but if you're suddenly hit with a wave of anxiety or worry or concern or um you waking up in the morning and you feel that really anxious feeling in your stomach it is likely that you're picking up on your person so when that happens just remember to say return to sender kind of send it back to them as we say psychics empaths you're like sponges and you pick up on other people so when uh, 98 percent of our emotions aren't our own so when we are sitting there and suddenly we get this bang of emotions, we feel it, we pick it up and we have to say return to sender sends it back, does nothing wrong, doesn't hurt anyone, it's just that you are picking up on someone else's emotions. So you definitely do pick up on your people. Now they have got this kind of feeling of a little bit of guilt going on as well because they feel that they've let you down, they feel that they let themselves down, that they might have walked away from the situation when they probably shouldn't have done that and in hindsight, in retrospect, they do regret that we have this feeling of they again this this betrayal but it's more this betrayal of their love for you that they did they know that they love you that they have these strong feelings for you and they do feel that they let you down to a certain extent almost feeling as if you know they had this road map and they knew what direction they wanted to go in they knew that they wanted to make it work with you and they they kind of stab you feeling a bit like they stabbed you in the back either by their actions or where they threw these fireballs at you so you'll either seen something on social media or you'll, they'll have said something to you which made you go, oh my God, something's not quite right here. That's your collective energy on it. Remember, strongest mutual energy. So if it doesn't resonate, it's probably going to come up at a later date. Aren't you, not, aren't you happy to hear that? So the love that they have is really, really strong for you. They do deeply care about you. They are licking their wounds, they're feeling sorry about they hand, how they handled the situation, feeling that they let you down, feeling that they let themselves down more, and kind of hiding away from this all at this moment, not communicating efficiently or effectively about you. And because of that, that's this kind of guilt energy stepping forward. Now, the interesting thing, ooh, is that you've got three eights going on. So this is suggesting that in August, there's gonna be some kind of movement towards you. Also on a spiritual basis, watch out for the numbers 888. When people ask me what numbers mean, Spirit have always told me um, that with regard to the numbers, you have to work out specifically what the universe is trying to tell you. So you can go on angel numbers or angel scribes or whatever it's called, and you can go and have a look at the generic number. However, the universe is gonna be communicating with you on a one-to-one -one basis. So if you see the number 888 or 888 specifically because we're being drawn into it in this deck if you see the number 888 and you are thinking a certain thought write that thought down and then the next time you see the number write it down again and the next time write down your thought process and by the time you get to the fifth or sixth time you will work out specifically what the universe is trying to tell you Okay, so in around August, and that is your collective timing on it, there, there's likely to be movement before with some of you, movement after with some of you, um, but as your collective average of timing, in about August, your person is going to be making these moves towards you, feeling a lot more stable, and instead of walking away from the situation, they are going to be walking towards the situation with you. Um, they're going to be feeling that they are on top of their game, feeling that um, they know exactly what they want from the situation, feeling that they should have done something earlier um but for now they are just thinking it through thinking oh god did I do the right thing those of you that aren't in communication even though I'm saying August your person is thinking about reaching out to you from this point okay so there has been an energy shift as Venus went into retrograde a lot of stuff came up everyone's crap went over everywhere crazy and um, everyone's feeling been, been feeling a little bit low as it's come to this point of letting go of the past um, and this includes your person so they don't want to let go of the situation. They want to hold on to the situation because the love, again, the love between the two of you is extremely strong. Um, and they, they've took a step back from the situation at this moment in time because of your guys' individual circumstances and situations. But there is this contemplation of movement towards you right here, right now. They are debating it. But it's not going to happen until a bit later on. Now, as your collective energy is August, um, sometimes it could be the 8th of a month. 
Uh, with all these eights, you could have the eight or eighth of May, eighth of June. There could be movement then. Um, August time, which is your collective energy, um, it could also be eight weeks away. So anything along those lines where these eights are concerned, but the love is really, really strong. Your person knows that they love you. There is no doubt in their mind that they love you, um, but they just don't know how to deal with the situation. They don't know how to really handle it um, because of, of what happened. Okay, because of whatever your circumstances were, these towers here erupted, fireballs got thrown, and it kind of left in this icky energy. Now, Spirit is also saying to me that the reason these fireballs can sometimes be thrown is because the passion between you guys is extremely strong. Um, the passion, the love, is extremely strong between you both. And when that happens, um, it means that these tiny little molehills can turn into massive mountains your person gets up their goat spirit are saying um gets on this kind of self-defensive barrier and throws shitty statements at you without actually thinking it through without thinking of the consequences of their actions um and without kind of coming up with any kind of solution or they just back away so that you your deck is split into two of conflicting energy of, of throwing fireballs or just completely cutting it out but this this card over here, this kind of karmic energy is giving this really strong clearing, okay? So what we mean by that is that there has been a bit of a buildup of karmic energies between you and your person from the way they've been handling the situation. Now what you need to know with that is your person's karmic de debt is going to be repaid. And what spirit mean by that is what they have done with the situation with you, they will feel that loss, they will feel that yearning, they will feel that missing, and that communication can then step forward. So your collective energy is this very, very strong feeling of love, massively strong feeling of love and movement. There is movement. They are contemplating creating this movement towards you. So even though they've walked away from the situation, majority of that you guys are not in communication or they've took a step back um, and they, they've kind of just distanced themselves from you, whilst that energy is there, this thought process is kicking their butts and they're like, okay, I need to do something about this. I can't hold on. I, I can't sit in this energy and feel this this kind of sadness, this weight on my shoulders, I can't feel it anymore. So maybe I should reach out, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do that. And that is where their, their thought process is on it all at the moment. So just to recap, there is a very strong love for you. They are feeling sorry about their actions or what they have specifically said to you. They're feeling sorry about that. Um, they've been throwing fireballs, which has kind of created this karmic energy, which means the debt needs to be repaid. Um, and again, with that, that was going to be a shift in energy um, that they're going to feel what they what they did with you. They're going to kind of feel it come back towards them, whether it's individual circumstances, which, re which uh, come up again, or whether they just feel this very strong loss of what they've done and it comes back at a late a day this karmic energy here has got to be repaid they've walked away from the situation at the moment um, or distanced themselves or blown a little bit hot or cold they will come back to you um, feeling more stable feeling more secure and feeling that they've worked everything out in their pretty little minds okay that's those are your main cards I'm just going to pull three oracle cards for you can I have three cards for deck number one please Three cards for deck number one. About their person's thoughts. Two. Three. Okay, so you guys have been feeling that you've been suffering kind of fools gladly. You don't like to suffer fools gladly, but you feel that you've kind of been putting up with their behavior and you haven't really been that happy with it. And this is why this endurance card is sticking out. So you feel like you've been, I'm gonna get the light on that. You feel like you've been weight, holding the weight of the world on your shoulders with regard to the situation. And people have potentially been influencing your mind on it, um, making you feel that that you shouldn't go back or that you, don't actually want to be in this situation and it really is weighing heavily on your heart because you can see that you guys can have a really really happy ending here but you just don't know at the moment if it is feasible now with that remember with this your person is going to be feeling exactly the same so at the moment and um, it's possible that they they're not in this thought process of i feel like i can 
cope with this situation but as time progresses they are going to really feel this energy feeling that they need to have this beginning with you a new beginning starting again you got the card of release and what this is saying is if you let go of this situation try and surrender it to the universe they will bring it back to you um, universal law of space when we hold on to something we hold on to it really really tightly we give no room for the universe to maneuver so once we release the situation we surrender it to the universe we let it go it can come back to us um, so if if you have a look on YouTube and type in releasing situations or surrendering situations, it doesn't mean that you're moving on, job done, it's over. It just means that you're kind of giving yourself that inner peace so that the universe can bring it back to you. Okay, your person may have walked away from this situation at the moment, this moment in time. They may be feeling that they've got this really strong weight on their shoulders, but it's not going to last. Okay, your last card is connect. They will be coming back to you. They will be speaking that from a heart centered energy base. They're going to be feeling um, a lot more stable in their emotions for you. And it's going to be a point when you guys can really share your heart centered energy towards each other. So the thought processes overall is that at the moment, they're just kind of taking a step back thinking it through feeling sorry for what they said feeling like they they didn't really do the right thing feeling that you guys have been putting up with a lot um of what their crap has been that they've put you run you through the mill with it you've kind of had enough of it you've said stuff they've said stuff it's erupted or situations have erupted to cause this distance and um, but they are very much in love with you they know that they are in love with you they know that they cannot shake this feeling of love that this love feeling is always going to come back and there looks to be a stable foundation for a partnership here between you both once your person has stopped playing silly buggers essentially okay that's deck number one i'm gonna have a breather for five and then i'm gonna do deck number two okay let's do deck number two so as always it works in the strongest mutual energy between you all regardless of your individual circumstances and situations so we're going to go into all your people's energy think about your person for me can we get into the person's energy Persons, thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. So we go into all your energies, all your people's energies, and we pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, okay, let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. Now, the first song that's kind of coming into my, emo uh, my right ear is Cry Me A River by Justin Timberlake. So you guys are kind of a little bit let's say dicked off excuse my language but let's say you're a little bit dicked off with the situation you've had enough you're like right this really is taking the piss now you really need to sort this shit out or i am gone for good and excuse my language on it but um that is literally your energy and then you you guys go through waves at one moment you're feeling quite upset and angry and the next you're like oh i miss you come back to me so you go between these two energies of an anger and a love I'm really kind of battling these two emotions you lot are. So can you tell me what is their person thinking about them at this moment in time? I love this deck. It's one of my new ones, um, but it's so beautiful. Three. You want nine as well? Just talk to me, guide. Talk to me, guide. Okay, I'm also hearing through my right ear, take it or leave it. That's what Spirit are saying. So that's again, that's your energy coming through rather than your person's energy. Um, that you are again torn between these two emotions of um, anger and love. You're going to be like, right, you either come to me and take it as it is or you leave, okay? Because I'm, I'm sick of playing, sitting on this fence while you're messing around and being a... Being a fill in the blank without swearing try not to swear too much on the channel okay so what your person is thinking about you so let's start off with the positive okay we have a very strong love going on between you both so this is your two of cups this is your true love card this is everything is great perfect phenomenal i really do love you and that is what they know okay so even though it's in their thought process it is a knowing energy now if we look at these lily pads these are the obstacles that have been coming up in you and your person's journey so you've been at the moment 
you've been hopping from one to the next to the next, you've been feeling a little bit of growth happening, then backtracking, and it's been going round in this bit of a cycle. Now your two cups are merging together, your person wants your two cups to merge together with this lily of new growth, okay? So they're feeling that this is a spiritual connection, but they're also feeling that this connection needs new growth to it, that you've been going round beating the same old drum over and over again, and it's time for this to kind of start again. And this is what spirit are meaning by take it or leave it. It's either you guys are gonna cut your losses or you're gonna really have a go at doing things. And your person is in that energy as well. Now you've got the Knight of Cups, which is this movement towards you okay this movement of heart-based energy and a clear communication about this movement they want to be with you but they know that you are really fed up with the situation they know that they've again been a bit ignorant to you and your needs and being quite selfish with regard to that so they've got this movement towards you based on love so if you guys are blocked you're going to get unblocked if you guys are not talking you are going to be talking um, if they're blowing cold with you then they're going to blow hot with you and start kind of communicating this towards you that they have got this love for you um but they are feeling a little bit stuck okay they don't know how to get over all these obstacles and neither do you you know there's been a lot of water under the bridge um, I just got uh, red hot chili peppers under the bridge downtown. There's a lot of water underneath the bridge and they know that this has got to be completely rewritten for you guys to start again and have a chance of being together. So we've got this card of waiting it out. They're waiting it out at the moment. They're not making movement. They're not making action. They're just kind of sitting on the fence, seeing what happens, thinking about all these obstacles and then thinking, oh, I really should get in touch. But like you, they are conflicted by this energy, okay? They're feeling a little bit stuck they don't know what the right thing is to do how to move it forward is it possible you guys can make it work because they know that they're going to need a little bit of kind of a personality transplant for that to happen they're going to have to really re 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 jig restart the whole thing make some new movement make some new actions towards you rather than just kind of sitting there letting it all happen they know that they've got to make some sweeping movement into you to sweep you off your feet so that they actually get another chance of you because at the moment they know that you're not happy with this situation they know that they really messed up and they have a guilt over that okay because the love for you is there it is strong they do love you they've been trying to keep it balanced weighing it all up and they've been handling it in quite a terrible way again um it's been a bit backwards and forwards left and right front and back that's where their head has been at and it's been leading to this bit of confusion that they feel like these kind of emotions for you have, have got very mistangled and tangled up in this complete pile of ickiness like their emotions are there they're very very strong emotions but because of the water under the bridge they're feeling that these emotions have really got to be sev uh, sieved out into one you know into boxes as such okay your person is a box person and what we mean by that um is that they can only focus on one box at a time so they have boxes in life they have a box for you they have a box for work they have a box for home they have a box for family they have a box for gym they have a box for hobbies etc etc you've got different boxes everywhere now your person cannot be in more than one box at one time so they will deal with one situation at a time now what's happened to cause this kind of level of confusion is that they've been trying to amalgamate spirit saying they've been trying to amalgamate these boxes i've got no idea what that means but that's what they're saying trying to push their energies from one box into the next and merge it all together and it's led to them having this state of confusion over everything all they know is that they love you okay and it's such a strong love I can feel it really in my heart they have a very clear knowledge and a knowing that they have these very strong emotions for you um, but with that they've tried to stay balanced on it they've tried to keep level-headed about it and they haven't done a very good job of it so we have this movement towards you we have some kind of offer coming in a lot of your people with deck number two might act on a more sexual energy than a heart-based energy when they make this offer to you um, reason for that is because talking about sex is often easier than talking about the ins and outs of emotions for your person and again it's due to these boxes okay due to them not being able to merge their boxes together and deal with one box at a time so there is an offer coming forward which is going to be most likely sexual for a lot of you um they know that they have to do it before time runs out as well i just got beauty and the beast tale as old as time with the rose at the top 
okay? They know that they have got to do something about this situation before this situation runs out. And again, this take it or leave it energy. So this is gonna be coming back to you sooner than what you are anticipating. If you're thinking it's gonna be years away, you will be mistaken. This is kind of in the immediate future. Immediate future, when I talk about immediate future, it tends to be around one to three months, and that is your collective energy, okay? That they know they've got to act on this before time runs out. They don't want the last rose petal to fall um, and see if they can have this new passionate beginning with you. Okay, so this is where, that's where their thoughts are currently at, that they, they know that they love you, they know that you guys would have to start again to have a future, that the moment they're sitting on the shelf feeling a little bit conflicted by everything that's gone on, um, wanting to do something about the situation, trying to stay balanced on it, but feeling as if their cups have kind of all tipped up and they can't focus on more than one thing at a time, that, that they were focusing on more than one thing at a time and it blew them to this point of blowing a gasket that they got really stressed out with the situation that they're going to come towards you most likely with some kind of sexual offer that they need to do it before time runs out and that they can have a new passionate beginning with you okay so that's where their thought process is on it that they know that they love you the love between you both is very very strong it's just that you guys are kind of been going through the mill of it you've been having a very rough ride with regard to your emotions and um, they've been having a rough ride with regard to their emotions whether you believe it or not but they haven't communicated it openly and honestly with you um but in this time that you guys are going through, this right, this moment in time, right here, right now, they know that they need to do something about this situation, and relatively quickly. So if you, like I said, if you do feel that it's gonna be months away, you will be mistaken. It's not that far away. Okay, I'm just gonna pull you three oracle cards like I did with deck number one, just to kind of clarify or any advice for you. Can I have three cards for deck number two? Three cards for deck number two. Oh, you got the same as deck number one on that one. That was a hand slip. One more. One more. Lovely. Ah, oh, okay, you'll like this. So you have communication, romance, and endurance. These are your kind of overall oracle cards between you all. Now, deck number one got endurance as well. What this is saying is that you guys have gone through a lot, okay? You're feeling like you've really um, been battling to have this new beginning with your person and you've been fighting for them and perhaps they haven't been fighting for you to the same extent that you wanted them to. You've been feeling quite weighted on the shoulders. Now, what's happened here is the energy has flipped and reversed and your person is now, can you see it? Your person is now feeling this weight on their shoulders, okay? They're feeling that they need to act on this situation. We have the card of romance. This is their love for you. Um, now, with this, you can see, again, we talk about this helix and how your energy is kind of entwined, um, that you'll come in and out of each other's lives. You'll wave it in, you'll wave it out. And you're at this point at the moment, and you're soon about to come back round so that your romance can start again. You can have a new beginning with your person um, and this need for communication this is going to be coming forward as well that you are going to be able to communicate with them and it's going to be much more about talking openly and honestly and seeing if there is a way you guys can make it work if there is going to be a new beginning here between you both your person really is uh, missing you feeling sorry for themselves feeling that they should have done something about the situation sooner that they haven't handled it in the right direction but what they do know and let me reiterate it to you is how much they love you their love for you is eternal, spirit are saying, and I'm get, getting eternal flame come through by the bangles as well. So you've got loads of songs in there, number two. They, they know this love for you is eternal, that it's not gonna, just going to fade out, um, but they equally want to really give this a shot at getting you guys getting your shit together, because at the moment they know it's either going to go or it's not this this and, and another song should I stay or should I go you, you are, you're both in this energy of is this going to work or isn't it can we make it work or not is there a chance it's going to happen or is, is it time to cut my losses and move on and you're both in this mixed up energy but the good news is you will have this chance to communicate openly and honestly with one another and um, before you both decide and it will be a mutual decision on what you want they do want to be with you okay so if you're worrying that the mutual decision is going to be it's not going to work your person does want to be with you they do love you okay um 
they need to start proving themselves that their actions are not their words, how much they do care about you. Because it's leaving you feeling like, you know, was it worth it? Am I meant to be more than this? And it starts doubting your self-esteem and your um, energy and you feeling a bit low about it all. So um, they know that they've got to act on it, do something about it and do it in the right way and quickly. And they will, they will really positive okay um it'll be down to you guys on what it is that you want once you start talking to them openly about the situation okay that's deck number two so if you need me i'll put all the details in the description i'm blinging up the website at the moment there's gonna be a new website coming soon um with all the details on it that i told you i was going to update the website ages ago and i never did um it's now getting updated all the reading types will be on there probably hopefully in like a week maybe a week and a half, something along those lines. My turnaround time is down at the moment. Uh, reason for that is because I am in self-isolate, I'm in quarantine. We're in, you know, our England is uh, stay at home. So all I'm doing is working at the moment. So this is like the lowest the turnaround time has been probably since I started the channel because I'm working nonstop. I'm working like seven days a week. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying it though, I'm enjoying it. It gives me a chance to kind of keep my mind occupied while we're all stuck at home and, you know, not go out and, and do anything like that. So, my turnaround time is down because I'm working super speedy. Um, so if you need me, just drop me a message, uh, drop me an email and I will speak to you all soon. I love you all lots, uh, take care of yourselves and uh, God bless. Bye guys.